Hi, this is Nick with ASUS, and welcome back to our ASUS North America YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about a couple of new technologies that were recently announced in Montreal last week um, by NVIDIA, a and a few of those are going to be NVIDIA Shadow Play, NVIDIA Game Stream, and then NVIDIA G-Sync. So the two that we're going to take a look at today are going to be Shadow Play and Game Stream. Um, and then the G-Sync, which you might be pretty excited about as well, we'll cover um, in a future video as we get closer to launch on that product. So Shadow Play Game Stream, Shadow Play will essentially let you record your gameplay um, on your NVIDIA based GPU and then Game Stream will actually um, involve Shield and will let you stream your PC games over to your Shield when you're on the same Wi-Fi network so you can have your Shield and play around with it wherever you want as long as you're connected to that same network. So I can already envision all the questions coming in, what does all this have to do with ASUS? So NVIDIA Game Stream is really going to heavily depend on the routing performance. So the router is really going to be the cornerstone of your game stream experience. And with that, NVIDIA is doing a certification program called Game Stream Certified, and routers will be Game Stream Certified. So ASUS already has a few on the list, the RT N66U, the RT AC66U, and then the RT AC68U at the moment, um, with plenty more to follow. So if you want to see which ones are compatible, uh, you can go ahead and check that out on the NVIDIA website, as well as on the ASUS website for North America. That'll be asus.com slash US, and you'll be seeing Game Stream Certified logos next to the, uh, the routers, which are compatible with that. One of the main things that NVIDIA is pushing for a good gameplay experience using GameStream is to be using the 5 gigahertz band. So um, for those not familiar, routers uh, will broadcast on two bands nowadays. They'll call it, they're called dual band routers. You'll have a 2.4 gigahertz band and a 5 gigahertz band. NVIDIA is really recommending that you use the 5 gigahertz band um, to wirelessly connect to the network for optimal gameplay experience. Okay, so before we get into GameStream, let's take a little quick look at Shadowplay, how it works and what options you have with it. So you'll notice when you open up your GeForce Experience in the top right corner, you'll have a Shadow Play option now. Um, if you go ahead and click on Shadow Play, that'll give you the option to go ahead and enable it. So on this little window here, you can go click the flip the switch here, and now you've had it enabled. So you can choose between different modes on manual recording or automatic recording. Um, they call Shadow Time how long you want to record for. So right now we're maxing out at about 20 minutes, and that'll give us about seven and a half gig file if you record all 20 minutes. And then, of course, quality settings, you can go from low, medium, and high. And then you can choose to record the audio or not record the audio, um, as well as where you want to save it. And um, it's going to tell you the resolution and the frames per second and the codec, of course. So let's get into a game, and let's just demo how it works real quick. OK, so we can see here we're in the game. We're in Bioshock here. And as part of the Shadow Play preferences, I earlier specified that I wanted Shadow Play to come up in the top left corner. So you can see here in the top left corner of our screen, we have a little logo. And Alt F9 and Alt F10 will trigger the recording on and off mode. So right here, you can see that the logo is just gray and white. If we hit Alt F9, it'll turn to green, and you're recording. Um, you can do, go ahead and do the same thing, do Alt F10, and then you've stopped recording. And that's how Shadow Play works. OK, so now that we've gone over Shadow Play, let's take a look at Game Stream and all the functionality and kind of features and, and options that come with it. So Game Stream, if you don't remember, is basically going to stream from your PC over to your Shield. So you'll have the option of playing it on your Shield if you're on the same Wi-Fi network. And then the Shield actually also has an HDMI out. So that's another great way to get it onto your big screen HDTV that whether you have it in the living room or in a den somewhere, um, you can go ahead and play off the Shield controller, but then off on the big screen with the HDMI connection that the Shield provides. So let's take a look at the GeForce Experience. Um, program here in Windows. So if you install the latest drivers, you're going to have GeForce Experience bundled with them. If you do a custom installation, of course, you can uh, choose not to install them. If not, it'll get automatically installed, or you can custom and make sure that it is getting installed. Um, it'll be right here in the bottom corner of the system tray. And when you open it, you'll see here right away that you'll see my rig. So on top of game optimization and the GeForce Experience, taking a look at your configuration and providing you with the optimal gameplay settings for your configuration, um, it's also going to be the center where game stream and shadow play happen. So here we can see that game stream is reporting as ready. And we can go ahead and click on the game stream tab here. So we have a 600 series GPU or higher. We do have an ASUS DirectCU2 GTX 770 in the system. Um, as well as all the other requirements that, that we meet here. And then at the very bottom here, we can see that it does say um, that they do recommend an 802.11a slash g router minimum or 802.11n dual band router. So they're really pushing um, the need for 5 gigahertz if you want to have an optimal gameplay experience streaming or using the game stream. 
So now that we've taken a look at that, let's go over to the game section. And the NVIDIA GeForce Experience is also going to pull up all the games that you have installed on your system. And when you access those through the Shield, um, the Shield will automatically pick those up as well and give you the option to stream them to the Shield, where you can then play it on the Shield or, like we said before, on the HDTV. So now that we've kind of taken a look at the GeForce Experience on the desktop, let's see how it works on the Shield. OK, so let's go over to the Shield and uh, get game stream working here. So on the Shield unit here, we can see that it is Android. We are running actually 4.3 version of Android. Um, that is going to be an OTA that we'll issue out shortly. Um, once you're in the Shield operating system here, we see at the bottom we have the NVIDIA GeForce Experience logo. You see the GeForce logo. Let's go ahead and click on it. And then right away, we see we, we have this different menu system. So we have the Shield games, um, games that you have on the Shield that you can play, the Shield store, games that you can purchase to play on the Shield, and then PC games. So over the network, it's seen my PC that I've set up here and see that I have Bioshock Infinite installed, I have Borderlands 2 installed, and we have FIFA 14 installed. So a couple Steam games and an Origin game. Um, both will work, no problem. So let's go ahead and uh, launch up FIFA and see how that works. So in the background here, we can see we kept the monitor on the PC on purpose. So you can see that it is launching in the background. The PC is launching the game. And then it's streaming over to the Shield here. So Let's go, let's go ahead and hop in a game real quick. We'll do a quick little game and kind of give you some idea of some gameplay and what it looks like on the Shield. <clears throat> Don't forget that you can also stream it out to an HDTV. So if you do want to play on the big screen, but you don't want to move your computer down from wherever it is, whether it's in your room and the big screen's downstairs or vice versa, um, that you can just take your Shield and connect it right away. So we can see, you can hop right into a game here. And then there we go. So let's go ahead and do one more on Bioshock Infinite here. And we'll go ahead and launch that right away. So all this, like we mentioned before, is going to be very dependent on your router. The router kind of being the focal point and being the center where everything goes in and out of. Um, you want to make sure that you do have a strong router, um, preferably on the 5 gigahertz band. All right, and there we go. And now we're back in the game. So all the same controls that you'd expect off, off of a console, um, being that the controller is very similar, um, you're going to have the same kind of functionality with the dual joysticks and the R triggers for shooting. Um, and then you, there you go. So we can go ahead and exit out. We can quit out. Of course, our progress will be lost. And you can see that the PC is mirroring everything that the shield is showing. OK, so today we took a look at Shadowplay and GameStream, the two recently announced technologies that NVIDIA kind of showed off in Montreal last week. So I hope that you've kind of gotten a grip and a sense of how it works and what's involved and what you can do with it. Um, again, we can't overstress the importance of having a good, solid router, a dual band router. Um, now is the perfect time to upgrade if you haven't. All the new phones and laptops and all the new devices are coming out with 802.11ac, which is the new Wi-Fi standard, which operates on 5 gigahertz. Um, and all those routers will, of course, be backwards compatible to 2.4 gigahertz. So you can upgrade to one of these routers, and all your devices will still work, except for you'll have that extra benefit of being on that 5 gigahertz band and be able to stream very smoothly through GameStream um, and to use it to its full potential. So if you want to see a list of compatible routers, you can get over to the NVIDIA site for the Shield. They'll have a list of, gaming cer or of GameStream certified routers, as well as on the ASUS site, you can look for the GameStream certified logo next to certain router models. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. And if you can excuse me now, I need to get back to playing some FIFA. Thank you.